It's not rocket science. Not, not rocket science. Science. Not rocket science. It's not rocket science. It's not. 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 Rocket science. It's not rocket science. Blast off. Welcome to Not Rocket Science. I'm Maddie, and this is Anthony, and we're your hosts of the podcast, Not Rocket Science. And we're on location at the Long Beach Coin Expo. And it's very, very cool. It's very cool. We've seen lots of coinage, and I'm having a blast so far. We actually saw, our, what was that, a million dollar thing? What was that? that, that oh, was man, t- there's there's millions floating around yeah, here. Yeah, 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 and it's all because of me. I don't know. Uh, there's also sports cards here, and uh, we've just been having a really good time uh, experiencing th- all things coin and all things Long Beach. You ever yeah. been to Queen Mary? Never met her, no. Yeah, she's a she's an old ship. <laughs> I served on her for years she's, and years. She's a ship? She's an old chip. Okay, sure. uh, Anthony, I was wondering, a penny for your thoughts, sir. Oh, you want... Just about anything. Go ahead, tell me something. This is a penny that might be worth money. We're going to have to ask our guests that uh, certain thing. So yes. that's my thought right away now. Because this coin place really has you thinking about the price of a coin. But here's another thought. Yeah. Is, is a leprechaun real? I don't know. That's a thought. That's a question. Leprechaun. I thought that question. And uh, leprechauns like this. Go I believe they're real. So uh, our in-house astrologist wants to give his two cents on what a coin show means in astrology. Take it away, Chris. Hey, guys. This is some coin convention, huh? I've never been to one of these before. I've been looking around for astrology-related coins. I read that there was a, an astrological coin that was discovered about the last year. It's believed to be about 2,000 years old off the coast of Israel. And it's believed to be very, very valuable. I'm hoping to find something like that here. And, you know, today, keep in mind, it is Mercury retrograde. So there's going to be some confusion out there. And if you're shopping for coins or swapping coins or buying coins, just really inspect the goods and make sure you're getting what you want because there might be some details that, you know, it's kind of a confusing day, so to speak. But anyway, it's also a great day for socializing. The moon's in Gemini, so get out there, talk to people. And uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this coin stuff. How about you guys? So yeah, on on this episode, it's very exciting. We're going to be interviewing legend... Justin Couch from Couch Collectibles. And also, we're going to be going live with him on the WhatNot app. That's right, live on the WhatNot app. And we're going to be opening up coins. Yeah. That's right, like like how they open up sports cards, but with coins. Yeah. And we're going to be ripping open these packs of coins. Some very rare. That's right, yeah. We're going to be opening up coins like that. And we're going to be selling them on an auction app called WhatNot. Yeah. And that brings me to, they are the sponsor of this episode. Oh, uh, what? They are for our first big sponsor, which is very cool. So, uh, uh, what? <laughs> not? <laughs> not? <laughs> what not? So, so yeah. So, um, we're going to be ripping open these packs of coins. And they're going to be, uh, there are um, some rare labels. There's, uh, there's the Gold Rush and the Infinity label and the base label, which is the Ultra label. And we're going to be ripping open those coins live on the WhatNot app. And it's going to be, it's going to be a blast. So blast off, like your catchphrase. Our studio plant, Greg, is going to give us his two cents about what coins mean. And Greg is now a studio coin for today because he's dressed yes. as a coin. He's a studio coin. How, How are, are you, Greg? Greg? I'm a plant, usually. Wow, but today I'm a quarter. Anyway, my first question would be, what is a coin? Uh, coins are typically currency. I mean, coins have been made since 1794. They made the first silver dollar in the year 1794. So uh, these are actual currency. People used to go spend these uh, for groceries and other things, yes. Are you a coin collector? Uh, buy and sell, yeah. Oh, well, that's amazing. What's your favorite coin? I don't like coins. I like bells. I like these right here. Oh, wow. These are my favorite. Look at the thousands. This is my specialty. I collect these. I've been collecting since I was 14. Is that the Queen of England? Uh, no, sir. That's uh, Lady Liberty. Oh, wow. I'm really sorry about that. They have the same hairdo. Um, wow. Um, you're not half the man 50 Cent is. 
Well, I don't even think I'm a third. <laughs> wow. How about a penny for your thoughts? There you go. Well, is that penny is that is that penny worth any money? A penny? Penny? How much is Lady Liberty worth? If you want to talk about this specific set, this is an 1845 proof gold set. There were only three of these made. One of those sets is at the Smithsonian Institute. The second set is unknown, and this is the third set that's known. And as you'll see, we have the original leather proof box that the coins came in from the year 1845. And it is now for sale at three and a half million dollars. I just lost one. <laughs> Give me a second, I have to find a special coin right here I want to show you. Uh, I need to look right here. Yeah, like a Buffalo Nickel. Kind of like, just cool collector series. Let's see, hold on, it's a, it's a pretty nice one. I, I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, yeah, that's a big bite. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, see there? Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, wow. Wow, so you don't know how much the coin's worth I'm wearing. No, turn around. No. 25 cents. Wow, 25 cents is all he got for crossing the Delaware. Wow, why do you think he did not sit down when he was crossing the Delaware? I think that his seat was probably wet. Uh, just so you know, uh, if you are new to the show, Maddie and myself, we uh, interview, let's say, a firefighter, a clown a uh, construction worker, a coin expert, and we learn about their field or learn about what their expertise is because, after all, it's, it's not coin. It is coin. It's, it's coins. It's not rocket science. But yeah. first, I have a challenge for you, Anthony. Okay. So heads or tails, you, if you lose, one of us has to kiss our microphone. Uh, did I lose? <laughs> oh, I thought you said I no. had to. I already well, did now. <sighs> Let's do Shoot. another one. All right. Whoever loses has to dance, ha have to do finger dancing like this. Wait, I'm just doing it now. How about whoever loses? <laughs> what is happening? Whoever this loses, whoever loses has to take off their shoe and smell it. The other person's shoe. <laughs> oh God! All right. All right. That's a good one. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh right, God! Go. I hope heads, I win. <laughs> heads or tails? Heads. Jeez, please win me. Hey, wait, you can't catch it. What? Yeah, you can. Put it on the floor. Uh, this is a table. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Heads, what I happens say. if I... if you I have to smell my shoe inside, and if, uh, if it's tails, I got to smell your shoe inside. All right, heads or tails? I say heads. Oh, God. Heads. Heads. You got to smell mine. Oh, I actually no. wanted you to win because I hate if this smells. Oh, God. Here you go. You got to <laughs> oh smell the inside. God. It's not that big of a deal. I've just been All sweating right. for 10 hours. Smell it not too much. It's okay. All right. Oh, God. Oh. It is bad. Oh, it is that bad. is bad. It is bad. Man, I'm going to have nightmares. I am too. That wasn't good. <laughs> I smell, uh, oh, you know, man. I lost too. I smelling. feel like I know you a little, a little too much. I feel I'm in a vomit about my own <laughs> life. Oh, I'm sorry that that happened. Well, we were just on the cuff. I thought, I mean, the first one was kissing the microphone. That, yeah, I already that did wasn't that. that bad. Smelling oh. the shoe, that was. Oh god, that was. I, a I nightmare. just put my eye on the microphone. I hope nobody <laughs> right. has pink okay, eye. Okay, double or nothing. Here we go. No, no, we already did it. I'm not doing <laughs> right, it again. Heads or tails? Heads or tails? What? What does that heads mean? Heads or tails? Heads or tails? Tails. Heads. Heads. All right. Well, what's the challenge? S shoe smell. No, no. I already <laughs> did that one. It can't. Uh, all right. I'll all do right, the okay, shoe. Okay. Let me think here. I'll do the shoe. All right. Oh, God. I'm going to vomit. Nice. I'm going to vomit in your shoe. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> it's actually way better than mine. I promise you that. It smelled like nothing. <laughs> I could eat out of that shoe. <laughs> Maybe you should have some shoe pasta. Hey, Learning you? about coins, it's not what, Anthony? It's not just it's coin not sale because they have s'mores, s'mores, s'mores here. Do they sell s'mores? It's not rocket science. Welcome to Not Rocket Science. I'm your host, Maddie, and this is Anthony. He's also a host. And we're here at the Long Beach Coin Expo. That's right. And we're going to be interviewing... The incredible, the amazing, the magnificent, the legend, 
Justin Couch from Couch Collectibles. Uh, he's here. He's a YouTuber. He has over 500,000 subscribers. Whoa, that's a lot. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Um, he's here right next to us. That's Justin Couch. He's wearing green. Uh, what's up, Justin Couch? Thank you so much for, for being on the, the Not Rocket Science podcast. We're going to learn all about coins from him because we always say, Anthony, what do we say? Coins are Coin, the future. It's not rocket science. Oh, it's not. Uh, okay. Jeez, uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. I thought it was. So, uh, yeah. So, we're here with, with Justin Couch. Well, thank what you, up, guys. Justin? Thank you. Thank How's you so much for having pound me, it. man. Oh, I appreciate man, pound it. it over it's here. been a blast here. today at the coin yeah. show, man. It's been amazing. We did a um, coin show uh, today uh, with with Justin, and we, uh, we did, it was really fun. And it was they, awesome. And that was so great to yeah. and be involved with you and and uh, get in get in the coin world. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Hello, we got everyone. it. Hello, everyone. Hey, we're in. Hey, what's up? Thank you for joining us today. This is going to be very exciting. We're going to be ripping open uh, Ultra Breaks. <laughs> They're uh, from Ultra Breaks, but Ultra each breaks. coin is graded by PCGS at a perfect mint state 70 grade. These coins are rare. We're, we're opening them in just a few here, so uh, get them while they're hot. And when uh, he says rare, that, that does not mean they haven't been cooked. Uh, yeah, they're not rare. Uh, please don't eat these coins. Yeah, if that's what you were saying, if you're buying them for food purposes, <laughs> they could chip a tooth. Yes. Uh, it is a good thing. You, you know, these are coins. They're these not are well done. They're not cleaning materials, ed edibles. Mint. So you have to not eat them for yes, please. Lord's sake. There's only 600 made total. There's 300 yeah. Morgan dollars, 300 silver piece dollars, both from 2023. And you have a chance of getting a you know a gold rush label, which they only made. Uh, well, if you see on the back here, one in ten packs contain a gold rush Whoa. label, and one in one hundred packs contain a uh, infinity label, which are both holographic labels. Whoa! Whoa. I'm sweating inside. <laughs> I might start crying. <laughs> I want you guys to get these these uh, and, uh, rarities. I want you to oh, have yeah. oh, 300. 300. Come on that's now, this is a, this is a nice bid. That 300. Yeah, it's making me emotional. I'm shaking <laughs> wow, inside. Wow. I'm shaking. Oh, Whoa. Contractor, oh contractor one. one. Hey, hey Contractor it. one, will you Let's help us it. redo our bathrooms? And All also, <laughs> we love that your name's Contractor one. All right. Yes. It actually Number is one. Cause I've already see, opened. I've already, see, I've already it is opened not hard. hard. We are just it's pretending, no, no. Maddie. See, everyone's right. having trouble. We've got the it's luck here. Me. We've got the luck. All right. So. All right. What do we got here? Oh, God. Come oh! On. Oh, 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 contractor. Wow, wow. No you way. just won. Everybody There's a person out there oh named. Oh, my God. We got a gold label Gold here. label. Oh, contractor. Awesome. Gold label. Contractor, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> crying yes, for yes, you. That is amazing. Who got that, contractor? <laughs> Whoa, contractor one, Congrats. I'd like to thank contractor two <laughs> and three All right, let's give him and a joke. Five. I'm a quarter. Irish. Wow. Get it? <laughs> wow. Logan, this is yours. Logan, this is all you. Logan. <gasps> Logan! Oh! Logan, you did it. We got a gold label. <sighs> Two in a row. Another this time on label. a peace dollar. What? Here, let me do what? this for Logan. I'm going to cry on it. I'm crying <laughs> tears of joy for you. You can have those tears free of charge, Logan. <laughs> Proud of you. That's awesome. <laughs> you finally Congrats. did it. Congrats. Congrats. Oh, Logan. Logan. Let's give him a joke. Making hard choices is easy for me. I just have to flip myself. Wow. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. Your, 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 your pockets are going to be so full. What are you going to do? All right. Well, All right how strong are your pockets? How deep oh! are your pockets? Oh! Oh! Gary! Gary! Gary time. It is Gary one of three time. for the piece of three. One of three. Oh, Gary. I'm going to throw up. Uh, wow. I love my wife. All She's right, a we're real doing this next one. dime they, piece. Uh, wow. Justin or Anthony, you want to open one? <laughs> they told me to be the change of I wanted to see in the world. So here I am. Wow. Wonderful. Okay, wonderful. Great. Wow. This Anybody have best. change for a penny? Two. Wow. Fractions. Wow. There it goes. All right. Here, All right, we, here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's oh, 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 no way! Gary, the very Gary, last one. 
one. The Gary. last one. The last one, Wait, Gary. Gary. What do you call a guy who always drinks two pints at a There's time? A quarter. Wow, why do they call them quarterbacks? They should call them millionaire backs. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> That's a good joke. Right, that is a good that joke. That is a good joke, That's huh? Excuse the bad jokes. I'm having a quarter life crisis. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's funny. Wow, wow. Thank you for having us. What <laughs> not? This is it's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. <laughs> what's what's the story of Justin? Oh man, like uh, my journey for like uh, coin videos. You think? Yeah, yeah just sure. like a, a a breakdown or how you got in the coin world. Yeah, man. Yeah. So. You know, early on when I was a kid, you know, my grandma had always mentioned to my brother and I that she was going to, that her and her, her and my dad had a collection that they were going to give us when we got older. So I always like was uh, intrigued when she showed me like old silver coins and stuff. So anything I always found, you know, like, uh, you know, like foreign coins or anything laying around on the ground or in my house somewhere, you know what I mean? It just always intrigued me and um, I just started collecting from the time I was a young kid. But fast forward years later, um, you know, eventually with the power of the internet I you know and my uh, skills with video editing and filming and my degree and that kind of gave me the knowledge to put two and two together and start a YouTube channel seven years ago and now I'm you know I'm doing videos on every social platform that there is really and then live streaming on whatnot whoa um, you're a king yeah. you're, ki you're king in it man you're king where are you from Justin I am from I actually live in Kentucky uh, I originally grew up most of my life in Ludlow Kentucky which is about five minutes from downtown Cincinnati Ohio so okay. it's right across the river Kentucky and Ohio some some people think it's weird that's not from that area but yeah it's very close are you by the uh, KFC the original I've been to that oh no actually uh, my dad lived not too far from the original. It's about two and a half hours south of uh, Cincinnati. Oh, wow. It, oh, it, my gosh. Is there a big coin community where you uh, like in your area, or is uh, that why you're online you'd have to be? None of my friends or family, besides my grandma uh, and my dad, sometimes, uh, you know, is interested in coins. But, yeah, I don't know really anyone in my family or friends that, that's <laughs> interested in coins. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. You just got into it, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, that's that's amazing. Can you explain like what kind of coins do you collect? What what kind of ones should people look out for? Yeah, so if you're going through like coin rolls from the bank or you know however you like obtain your coins. Coin roll hunting. Yes, right? it's referred yeah. to as coin roll hunting. Wow. Uh you know, you could look for, you know, for for instance Jefferson nickels, you can look for, you know, old silver nickels, 35% silver nickels that are you know, from 1942 to 1945. That's just something cool to always look for. Sometimes you'll find a buffalo nickel every once in a while. And then, uh, you know, s same with like dimes and quarters and half dollars. You can always look for silver coins for, you know, uh, those for dimes, quarters, or half dollars uh, from 1964 or prior for the dimes and quarters. And then uh, from 70 and prior for the uh, half dollars. Oh, so, cool. I, I don't, and then, of course, you can look for mint errors and things like that. But can you explain to the audience what a mint error is? Because people might not know. And, and Anthony, yeah, do you know what that is? Oh, means? yeah. It's uh, like a, a fresh uh, thing that you can put in your mouth. <laughs> no, it's I don't not. Know. No, I don't know. Uh, no, no, it's basically just when, you know, the U.S. Mint, uh, you know, accidentally messes up the production of an individual coin. Uh, and then it's an error coin. Now some of them don't make it out of the mint, and the mint destroys them before they can, you know, get released to the public. And then, uh, you know, some of them slide through because there's billions and billions of coins that are being created. So of course, some of them are going to slip through and uh, eventually make it out into circulation. Oh man! Whoa, whoa! That's that's awesome. Error coins. So look out for those error coins, folks. Yeah, I'm learning um, all this stuff too. I, I didn't know that you. That's what it's called. Uh, quarter roll uh, coin, coin roll hunting. Co coin roll yeah, hunting. So you can go to the bank and like get, you know and get a bunch of half dollars and go through them and look for silver coins, which is very cool. Yeah. Um. Actually. It's very, it's fun, man. It is, it's really fun. You like, you do it often or even I, I, though you're still like doing when, this stuff? You know, when I first started YouTube, I used to live stream, coin roll hunting uh, live streams. Yeah. So I would like, you know, go through rolls for people. Like they would pay for me to go through a roll. And if I found silver, it didn't, it didn't matter. Like if I found like a whole roll of silver, it all went to them, you know? Wow. So it was really cool. But now my time's kind of, you know, uh, limited a little bit. So. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not not doing too many right. live stream coin roll. Hunts. All right, well, I got some I got some pocket change here. Oh yeah. man, straight um, out of your pocket. All right, let's just kind of you know quick, very quickly go through and see if you see anything worth. Oh, anything. If you see anything okay. worth anything, let me uh, take that off your hands. Huh? Well, that's my pocket let me, change. Let me have some of your pocket well, change. I want to ask I, him. I forgot my. I, I see some wheat pennies here, but they're uh, common to have in this condition. Now, if you have one of these coins. Like a 1937 wheat penny in a very high grade, where it's really about the grade population. Like how many of this coin exists in a certain condition? You know, a very see. high grade. So uh, if there's only one or like two this. at a mint state 67 I'm grade, just a yeah. Phone. But uh, if there's only one or two at, at a mint state six, 67 grade or 68 grade, uh, then that's what's going to make it valuable. Is the fact that you know top collectors want. Uh, you know, certain coins in their collection, and they're going to pay big money for the ones that there's only a couple of. So we have some old wheat pennies, uh, 1958 and prior. Uh, this one is... Anything uh, worth anything? Not really in this condition, you know. There's a 1937 wheat penny, but there's only certain dates that they uh, produced a very low mintage of. So... 1937, they made a decent amount of these. They would have It would have to be in very, very top... Uh, condition or top grade to be valuable but now if you find a 1909 s with the vdb initials on the back at the bottom of the reverse of the coin yeah in this condition it would be worth thousands of dollars that's this one and that's vdb only <laughs> yeah. look at that is that right yeah that's 1927 there you go vdb <laughs> vdb is the uh the designer's initials for the uh lincoln cent now, uh, for uh, if I want to make it more expensive, or if I want it uh, to look better, better condition, do I clean these, shine oh, them up? Oh no, no, no! You you definitely don't want to clean a coin. I try. I can't stress that enough to my viewers because, you know, I actually did a video the other day on YouTube with my uh, local coin shop owner. Yeah. And he's like freaking out when I ask this question because all my viewers want to know how do you clean a coin? You don't. You just leave it. Yeah. You know, if it's like, if. You, it's got like a bunch of mud on it or something, you know, just spray it off with a water bottle or something. But when you're, when you're rubbing onto a coin, you're just like, you're scratching the surface, damaging the surface uh. of the coin. So it completely takes away a ton of value from it, especially if it's a, you know, a rare coin that's worth a lot of money. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that's pretty wild. Uh, what about this nice quarter? What are you, that's <laughs> brand new. Look nah. at that. That's a pretty common 2017 quarter featuring what's it, what's it worth? Uh, Frederick Douglass. Unfortunately, this one's only worth its face value of 25 cents. Hey, I'll take it. Hey, but in 2019, you can look for uh, quarters that look similar to this with a, a W mint mark. Yeah. And, you know, in circulated condition like this, they probably sell for like 10 bucks a piece. Wow. So, so uh, to be an expert or to know as much as you do, is it just take time to like, do you just read books on different kinds um, of coins? Or yeah, how? yeah. I think so. Uh, you know, mixed between books and the internet, of course, everything's available on the internet. That's but, true. Um, yeah, I think it's like just a long thing that just kind of naturally happens over time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. You just because it's so interesting to just hand you a coin and you're like, that's a you know the year already. That's it, amazing. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's really, that's a really cool. cool skill to have. Yeah. So um, uh, we we know you got to get going here, but just a couple questions. Sure. Um, are, what are co are coins good, a good investment? You know, I'm not a, uh, I guess I'm not a, you know, a financial advisor or anything that can right, give that right. type of advice, yeah, yeah. but uh, I, you know, it, I, I think a cashless society is scary, you know, because, mm, yeah. you know, what if a power grid gr goes out and you don't have any cash on, you know, cash don't exist and all you have is a piece of plastic. Mm. How are you, there's no to ATMs because right. you don't need it for, if you don't have cash. Yeah, uh, How are you going to use it if you don't have electricity in a hurricane or if a power grid goes out? You need, you need physical currency, you know? That's true. So I don't know. So if when it's the world an, ends, we're all going to Justin's house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. With him, right? Yeah, you've that's got right. plenty of coin around there, I suppose. <laughs> but as, as far as a, as an investment, I mean, you know, a lot of people invest in gold, silver. I always like to think of it like this, like you know, be uh, diverse. You know, if if you want to have real estate, have real estate plus gold and silver, maybe some crypto and you know, stock market stuff as well. So I think it's uh, good to have a little bit of everything. Yeah, it's smart. That's awesome. Um, so, um, what advice would you give people collect that wants to collect the killing? 
What would Man, you say to them? I, I always tell people, you know, every collector's different. There's no really rules to it. So, like, for me, I like filling up my books and getting every date, and it doesn't really matter the condition. Oh, you know, that's some of awesome. The, some of these mm-hmm. top guys that are spending millions of dollars, like, they want to have the highest graded coin. You know, all of us, you know, obviously can't be in that position, but... Um, yeah, I just say it's up to the individual. You know, if you want to yep. collect foreign coins that aren't really worth anything, then if you just think they look cool, then that's the type of collector you are. You know, collect what you want. It depends. Wow. Yeah, so it depends on the type of collector. So you can be high end or just the, yeah. the, the just the amount. That makes yeah. sense. So yeah. I need to get this coin from this year, this date, blah blah blah. And some people they just want to stack silver like bu- you know bullion or you know silver bars instead of like old american silver or you know even uh foreign silver or ancient silver you know some people just collect ancient coins i'm not really in ancient coins that much i like more of like old american stuff Mm -hmm. but um yeah i think it's just up to the individual what's the rarest core uh quarter what's the rarest coin you've ever seen would you say well actually i was at a coin show in orlando uh the fun show and this guy let me hold a 1943 uh, bronze penny, wheat penny. Oh, now, wow. In 1943, th- they only made steel pennies. So if you have one that's, you know, copper, it's extremely rare. It's a six-figure coin. Wow. Yeah, so a penny for six figures. Did you I mean, find out how that person uh, came about that coin? Uh, it was actually a auction company that was in possession of it. So Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. It's, it's also cool to handle it and see like there's so much history within that oh, coin. Oh yeah, yep. That's awesome. So uh, look for your po- uh, look through your pockets, people, for uh, for loose change and and coins, and, yeah. and go to his website. And where can where can people find you? Man, pretty much on all social media at Couch yeah. Collectibles, uh, YouTube, Facebook. I mean, Instagram. We're uploading. I'm uploading content every single day on all of those platforms. That's great. That's awesome. Well, That's thank you so much. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Man. Thanks, man. Really thank nice you, to man. meet you. It's been a had blast. A bla- had a blast. Thank you, man. Yeah. Awesome. Have, a, have a great night. All right. Thanks, all right, man. Cool. Thank you. Bye, bye. Great. Wow. Gotta stay hydrated. Wow. Wow. Last time I got too thirsty, I spent myself. I spent myself. Oh, I spent myself <laughs> <laughs> on soda. Wow. Doesn't that make sense? I make sense, right? Wow. <laughs> 25 cents. Wow. <laughs> uh, well, that's our show, Anthony. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm, I've had a blast. Yeah. Um, it's a good tired. I feel tired, but it's been really fun. Yeah. And thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. And like we always say, uh, uh, be curious. Keep learning. Because uh, learning, it's not what, Anthony? It's not just a coin. It's a it's double not coin rocket science. science. It's not rocket science. Not rocket science. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science.